So, How the World Works slash Lee Doran made this video called Gay Marriage. And in the video, he talks about his personal views on gay marriage, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter. But, in the video, he discusses the way in which the left treats President Obama's stance on gay marriage as compared to the way that they treat the stance of Republicans on gay marriage. I'll just let you listen. Hey everyone, today is March 24th, 2012. Many of you have been sending me comments that you want me to talk about gay marriage and I've skipped over it over my last few videos, but in this video I'm finally going to talk about it. I may have mentioned my position on gay marriage in the past, so many of you already know about it. I'll leave my discussion on that at the end of this video, but first I want to talk about Barack Obama and the abject hypocrisy coming from liberals and the Democratic Party. Why? Because when Barack Obama is asked the direct question how he defines marriage, he defines it only as it, uh, it's only defined as a union between one man and one woman. That is Barack Obama's position, which is no different from most people in the Republican Party. Yet the Republican Party is treated as their anti-gay, and Barack Obama is given a pass. When I ask my liberal friends why this is the case, why is Barack Obama given a pass on gay marriage, their answer is... is Get ready for it, folks, because here comes a straw man. Oh, I'm a failure because I haven't got a brain. Well... What would you do with a brain if you had one? Do? Why, if I had a brain, I could... I could while away the hours, conferring with the flowers, consulting with the rain. And my head, I'd be scratching while my thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. Well, he really doesn't believe it. I'm serious. This is their answer. And it, it, for people saying, well, his, his position is a little bit nuanced, no, it's not. It is not nuanced. He is not for gay marriage, period. He believes in several unions, as many Republicans do, but they don't believe in uh, uh, marriage. They believe marriage is a unique institution, as Barack Obama is uh, correctly defined. But when I ask liberals directly why they give Barack Obama a pass, they say, well, he really doesn't believe it, and he knows his constituents are not really for it. So what they're really saying is they support Barack Obama, and Barack Obama is not a bigot, as they call Republicans, because Barack Obama is a liar and a coward. That is what they're arguing. Their argument is that Barack Obama, his convictions are is that he's for gay marriage, but he's not actually going to come out and say it because the, the public or his base is not for it either, and so he simply doesn't have any courage or he's a liar, so we're going to give him a pass. As if, as if that's noble. That's a noble position. He's not going to come out and say what he really believes, even though supposedly, according to the left, it's a uh, civil rights issue of, it's of our time, and it is the civil rights issue of our time, and their president, their leader, uh, or my president, he's my president too, but their leader of the Democratic Party, Barack Obama, is not in favor of what they believe is a civil rights issue of our time, and they give him a pass because he's a liar and a coward. Okay, this is not why Barack Obama gets a pass on, on gay marriage and gay rights in general. The reason why he gets a pass is because he hasn't said anything or done anything that would suggest that his point of view on marriage stems from any kind of animosity or bigotry directed towards the gay community. I mean, let's take a step back and let's examine what Barack Obama has done for gay rights in America thus far. He staked an enormous amount of political capital to see that Don't Ask, Don't Tell was repealed. His Justice Department is no longer defending the Defense of Marriage Act in court. And he has done nothing to prevent individual states from legalizing gay marriage. In fact, he's been very critical of Proposition 8 in California, which took away the rights that many gay people had in that state to marry. Let's take, for example, Rick Santorum. It's not just his opinion that marriage should be, between, should be between a man and a woman that makes the left think that he's a bigot. It's remarks that he makes like this. Well, for the record, here's how Rick put it back in 2003. Quote, in every society, the definition of marriage has not ever, to my knowledge, included homosexuality. That's not to pick on homosexuality. It's not, you know, man on child, man on dog, or whatever the case may be. As if that weren't bad enough. Rick Santorum has come out in favor 
of a constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriage. If Rick Santorum were to have his way, there would be no gay marriage in any state in America at all. So to recap, the reason why Barack Obama gets a pass from the left is because he really hasn't said anything and he really hasn't done anything that would suggest that his view on gay marriage stems from any kind of bigotry or any kind of animosity in the way that the actions and words of the Rick Santorums of the world have. And that's the difference. This is abject crap. It's nonsense.